Uh, hi, uh, uh, today I'm going to talk to you about Flexto. Flexto is a flexible TCP offload to CPU based smart NICs that leverages fine grained parallelism for high performance. Uh, TCP remains the default transport protocol for uh, many data center applications. Uh, in recent years, the CPU overhead of TCP has come into sharp focus as uh, network speeds outpace the capacity of CPUs. Uh, even with modern optimized stacks like TAS and Google Snap, uh, the overheads are significant. Uh, this is especially severe in uh, communication intensive applications that exchange short RPC messages, which is an important data center workload. So here's an example on this slide. Uh, we profile a memcached server running with TAS kernel bypass TCP stack with a workload that consists of 32 byte keys and values. But as you can see, TAS still has significant overheads and only 26% of the per request CPU cycles are spent within memcached. So to improve further, we need to offload the TCP stack processing. However, the offload needs to remain flexible. Data center networks evolve quickly and have diverse requirements. To satisfy them, operators require flexibility to debug, trace, manage and adapt the network stack with uh, high velocity. While existing TCP offload engines improve performance, they hardwire the transport logic, leading to slow upgrade paths and operational issues at scale. This inflexibility shows in our analysis. For example, the Chelsea Terminator uh, TCP offload engine is optimized for long bulk flows and uh, Chelsea performs poorly for RPCs, leaving only 16% of the total cycles for the application. Unfortunately, because it is hardwired, there is little that can be done to adapt it to RPC workloads. So the question we ask is, can we get high velocity development for TCP offload and scalable performance to achieve line rate? We solve this with Flexto. Flexto is a high performance yet flexible TCP offload to CPU based smart NICs that is highly extensible. Flexto eliminates all host TCP stack overheads, leaving more than half of the per request CPU cycles for the application. Flexto supports unmodified applications uh, with POSIX sockets compliance and interoperates nicely with other TCP stacks. As a TCP offload, it is also extremely robust to packet loss and congestion uh, and implements widely used data center congestion control algorithms like uh, Timely and DCTCP. Flexto is also fully extensible. It's just software written in C and retains the advantages of uh, software development model. Upgrading Flexto is as easy as uh, restarting a user space application. Flexto also supports uh, dynamically offloading eBPF based extensions for uh, additional flexibility. TCP offload to SmartNICs is challenging. SmartNICs are uh, resource constrained platforms. Uh, they're geared towards parallel stateless offloads with many WIMPy cores and limited memories. On the other hand, TCP requires complex stateful code paths to track in-flight segments, perform congestion control, and is also extremely sensitive to packet reordering. Conventional stacks process uh, TCP connections in a sequential monolithic way, scaling only across connections by assigning them to cores. And this approach performs poorly on the WIMPy SmartNIC architectures. For high performance, the offload needs to leverage all available parallelism on the SmartNIC, scaling across cores in a much more fine-grained way. Flexto bridges the gap between uh, TCP's requirements and SmartNIC capabilities to achieve both high performance and flexibility. Flexto differs from conventional TCP stacks shown in the previous slide. Uh, as we show here, uh, Flexto decomposes the TCP data path into a parallel pipeline of fine-grained modules that keep private state and communicate explicitly. This provides scalability to scale to the many WIMPy cores available on the SmartNIC. And to extract further parallelism and reach the appropriate level of performance, these modules may be replicated, sharded, and may even process TCP segments of the same connection in parallel. Finally, Flexto's data path is one shot for each segment. Payload is never buffered on NIC memory, and this enables uh, Flexto to support thousands of connections with limited smart NIC memory capacities. Uh, for flexibility, uh, as I already mentioned, Flexto provides full user space programmability. Much like Click or Snap, Flexto allows new functionality to be implemented as modules in high-level languages like C or eBPF, and they can be hooked into the data flow. Flexto also supports Express Data Path or XDP modules, 
uh, implemented in eBPF. These XDP modules operate on raw packets and may keep shared state via BPF maps. Using this, we have implemented logging, statistics and profiling capabilities. Additionally, we have a number of XDP based extensions like firewall, VLAN encapsulation, decapsulation, TCP dump with packet filtering and more. We also show how to implement Axel TCP's connection splicing in just 24 lines of uh, eBPF code. And running alongside the flex TCP stack, our XB XDP based splicing achieves line rate performance. All of these extensions can be hooked into the data flow only when necessary. I'll now describe the overall offload architecture of Flexto. Flexto splits TCP processing into three components, a SmartNIC offloaded data path, a control plane, and an application library. The SmartNIC data path is responsible for handling common case per packet transport logic, uh, like TCP segmentation, loss detection, and payload transfer. The control plane asynchronously handles policy and management mechanisms that run infrequently. This includes things like connection setup and teardown, application interface management, and congestion control policy. The application library Lipto is uh, dynamically linked to unmodified applications and interposes on the POSIX socket API calls. Uh, the library Lipto directly communicates with the SmartNIC data path via kernel bypass. Now on this slide, I'll show the different levels of fine-grained parallelism Flexto's data path supports. This figure only shows uh, three modules for uh, simplicity. Other modules are also sharded or replicated. Okay. So for reference, the baseline uh, shown here is the monolithic sequential design of the conventional TCP stacks. A single core runs all of the TCP processing. First, Flexto breaks down TCP processing into fine-grained modules that execute in a parallel pipeline. Each of these modules can process TCP segments in parallel to hide uh, high latency memory accesses and data transfers. Next, uh, we replicate these modules on multiple cores. These modules may process segments even of the same connection out of order, leveraging Flexto's reordering for correctness. The black module shown here in the figure performs atomic processing and is therefore not replicated. Finally, we replicate the entire pipeline Connections are assigned to these pipelines using flow steering. Now, uh, as an example, I'll walk you through the pipeline in the context of uh, TCP segment transmission to explain the parallel pipeline processing in more detail. So transmission is triggered when a TCP connection is ready to send packets based on the congestion control rate and flow control. So this is a pipeline figure that shows the transmission of uh, two TCP segments. The pipeline stages here are color coded by the module that processes it. First, uh, the TCP segment enters the preprocessor module. The preprocessor allocates a buffer in NIC memory, prepares the Ethernet and IP headers, and steers the segment to the protocol module. Uh, notice how the preprocessor uh, processes multiple segments in parallel. Even before uh, TX segment 1 is fully processed, TX segment 2 also enters the pipeline. Next, the protocol module assigns a TCP sequence number based on the connection state. The protocol module here executes atomically as it must update core connection state. Therefore, we don't see an overlap between the different segments here, but we still have pipeline parallelism. TX segment 1 is processed before TX segment 2 and is therefore assigned a smaller TCP sequence number. The post processor determines the physical address of the payload in uh, host memory. The post processor is also replicated. Finally, the DMA module issues a fetch of the host payload into the segment. And after DMA completes, it transmits the segment uh, over the network. To illustrate reordering in our example, TX segment 1 stalls in the DMA stage. Uh, therefore, TX uh, segment 2 uh, com DMA completes before TX segment 1. This would cause TX segment 1 with a smaller TCP sequence number to be transmitted after TX segment 2. And TCP is sensitive to this. Out of order segment transmission uh, would lead to unnecessary loss detection and complex out of order processing at the remote pair. We resolve this by assigning a pipeline sequence number to each segment entering the pipeline. Using this, we buffer and reorder segments before admitting them into in order processing modules. Now, uh, let's look at the evaluation of Flexto. So, uh, in our evaluation setup, we use a host with uh, 20 cores operating at 2 gigahertz 
and uh, 40 GB of RAM. So, we primarily prototype Flexto on a Netronome Agilio CX40 uh, SmartNIC and we compare this with Linux in kernel uh, stack and also TAS kernel bypass TCP stack. Uh, we also use the Chelsea Terminator NIC as a comparison point for uh, commercially available flexible TCP, inflexible TCP offload engines. And across all baselines, we use identical application binaries. First, we quantify the benefits of offload. Does offload improve the performance of memcached? Here we saturate a memcached server running with different network stacks and vary the number of server cores. And our client load, uh, like earlier, consists of 32 byte keys and values. As we saw earlier, Flexto saves up to 50% CPU cycles per request, uh, even versus a highly optimized kernel bypass TCP stack like TAS. And these offloaded CPU cycles may be used for useful application work to scale to higher throughputs. As the figure shows, memcached on Flexto scales up to 1.6 times better compared to Flexto. At 12 host cores, Flexto exhausts all cores on the Agilio CX SmartNIC. The newer Agilio LX SmartNIC doubles the number of cores and uh, this allows us to scale to uh, higher throughputs and more host cores. Linux and Chelsea perform poorly for this uh, workload because of high overheads. Next, we look at the memcached latency distribution across uh, TCP stacks. This figure shows the distribution across TCP stacks with a, Flexto, uh, with a Flexto server. Our paper shows all the different combinations. Uh, as the figure shows, Flexto achieves a narrow latency distribution with the lowest median and tail latencies across all the different network stack combinations. This is due to Flexto's excellent performance isolation uh, due to physically separating the TCP data path from the host. Now, uh, we evaluate whether Flexto's fine grain parallelism design uh, has benefits uh, in achieving efficient offload. Here, we use a simple eco server and, to, and to evaluate both intra and interconnection parallelism, we use a workload that consists of uh, 64 connections, each leaving a single 2 kilobyte RPC in flight. Here, the graph shows the throughput and tail latency as we progressively add more parallelism. The graph shows that each level of parallelism is necessary and brings significant gains. Throughput, we obtain a throughput speed up of 286 times and the tail latency reduces by 120 times. Next, we investigate whether Flexto's uh, data parallel pipeline uh, uh, design uh, provides benefits across platforms. So, to do so, we port Flexto to a Mellanox Bluefield SmartNIC and even to an x86 host platform and we compare this with TAS uh, on a unidirectional RPC benchmark. As the figure shows, Flexto's uh, fine grain parallel design outperforms TAS's uh, monolithic approach by up to four times on Bluefield and provides significant benefits across a range of RPC sizes. And when the same experiment is repeated on an x86, we obtain a 2.4x yield speed up. In conclusion, uh, Flexto is a flexible yet high performance TCP offload engine to SmartNICs. Flexto eliminates all host TCP stack overheads um, to save a significant amount of CPU cycles for the application. Flexto leverages fine grained parallelization of the TCP data path and uh, out of order processing to achieve high performance on the WIMP SmartNIC architectures. And using a modular design, Flexto is easily extensible and we show this by implementing a number of common data center uh, features. Flexto is open source and is available on GitHub, so please do check us out and uh, thank you and I am happy to answer any questions.